To all the folks spinning tales of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey possibly getting engaged through fan fiction, there might be a tiny update, but take it with a pinch of skepticism. Page Six is saying that Travis asked Taylor's dad, Scott Swift, for permission to marry her. According to Page Six's source, Scott has been asked for his blessing and has wholeheartedly given it, and Travis has been talking to friends about a ring. Now, let's talk about Travis. He is all out for Taylor Swift, and we want all the tea. Someone close to the situation says he's the most outgoing guy Taylor has dated in a long time. They claim this relationship is more like the real Taylor than any of her past ones. This insider spills, if Taylor wants to change the lyrics to her song after four months of dating and sing it in front of 60,000 people, Travis will stand there beaming for the crowd. He's digging it. They're saying Taylor finally has a partner who's willing to be in the spotlight with her. This Travis guy is ready to be there and support her however she needs. Another person in the know spills the beans that Taylor is head over heels in love. Apparently, she's super happy because she hasn't been with someone who's excited to be with her like this for a long time. In the past, with guys like Calvin Harris and Joe Alwyn, she had to keep things on the down low. But now, with Travis Kelsey, she can be out in the open and enjoy her relationship. Where did it all begin? Let's find out! Travis Kelsey's interest in Taylor started after he went to one of her concerts in July. On his podcast with his brother Jason, who plays for the Philadelphia Eagles, Travis shared a cute story. He wanted to give Taylor a friendship bracelet with his number on it, but things didn't work out because Taylor doesn't do meet and greets after her shows during the Eras tour. Travis jokes that he was a bit bummed about it, but it turns out to be the start of their story. It adds a playful touch to the ongoing saga of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey possibly becoming the next power couple. In September, The Messenger spilled the beans that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were quietly spending time together. According to the report, Taylor visited Travis in NYC a few weeks prior, marking their low-key hangouts. Shortly after, insiders spilled the beans to Entertainment Tonight, saying that Taylor and Travis were in the talking phase of their relationship. They were keeping things casual due to their crazy schedules. The insider spilled more tea, saying, Travis has been into Taylor for a while and definitely has a crush on her. He is a simple guy that is very funny, charismatic, chill, and loves playing football. On September 21st, 2023, Travis decided to address the romance rumors on The Pat McAfee Show, saying, it's hilarious how much traction this has actually got. I think right now it's like that old game in school called Telephone, where everybody is just whispering in each other's ear and just hearing some random stuff. No one actually knows what's going on. Travis shed light on his relationship with Swift, saying, I threw it out there. I threw the ball in her court, and you know, I told her, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead. You might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit. So we'll see what happens in the near future. Lo and behold, it seems Taylor took him up on the offer. Just three days later, on September 24th, 2023, Swift was spotted in a VIP box at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, chilling next to Kelsey's mom, Donna. The two were seen chatting and happily cheering on the Chiefs. Post-game, Swift and Kelsey were caught leaving together, and Kelsey made a fashion statement with a 1989 bedroom painting set from Kid Super Studios, a clear nod to Swift's 1989 album. Swift, decked out in the team's signature red, wore a red bomber jacket over a white tank and black jeans, and her go-to red lipstick completed the look. The duo then headed for dinner at Kansas City's Prime Social Rooftop Lounge. An eyewitness spilled the details to Entertainment Tonight, saying, Travis bought out the restaurant for his family and team. Taylor arrived wearing a denim dress and was seen snacking, having some cocktails, and dancing alongside Travis. The two were very affectionate with one another, but kept things fun and lighthearted. Travis's teammates also showed up to the after party, as well as his mom, Donna Kelsey. The party lasted until 2 a.m. Looks like things were getting pretty cozy between Taylor and Travis that night. A few days later, a snapshot surfaces, capturing Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey together at the restaurant. The photo paints a cozy scene. Swift has her arm wrapped around Kelsey at the bar while engaged in conversation with friends. Moving into late October, during an interview with the Chiefs' practice facility, Kelsey addresses the whirlwind of speculation surrounding his relationship with Swift. With the attention pouring in, especially from the paparazzi, Kelsey acknowledges the heightened visibility, stating, It feels like, you know, 
I was on top of the world after the Super Bowl and right now even more on top of the world. So it's fun. Acknowledging the challenges of public scrutiny, Kelsey shares, we're learning with the paparazzi just taking photos from all over the place. But at the same time, it's, you know, it comes with it. You got a lot of people that care about Taylor and for good reason. He emphasizes his ability to stay focused amid the media circus, stating, just gotta keep living and learning and enjoying the moments. At the end of the day, you know, I've always been pretty good about compartmentalizing and being able to stay focused in this building. So I'll just keep rolling with that. An insider divulges to Bizarre that Swift finds joy in watching Kelsey excel on the football field. The source notes her appreciation for spending quality time with Kelsey's family and friends, stating, Taylor loves going to his games. She really enjoys them, and she thinks it is beyond sexy that he does what he does. This is such new territory for her. She wants to support her boyfriend, and she does. It seems that Taylor has Mama Kelsey's approval, and we're here for it. The connection between Kelsey's mom, Donna, and Swift strengthens with each game, according to the insider. They share a special bond, and Kelsey is reportedly thrilled about it. The source adds that Kelsey's teammates welcome Swift's presence, teasing that she's their unofficial mascot. Apparently, the Chiefs have won the past four consecutive games since Taylor started attending, and Kelsey playfully attributes it to her, calling her his lucky charm. Explaining the ripple effect, the insider reveals, she has such a massive following that since he started seeing her, all the team's social media accounts have exploded. People are buying Chiefs tickets in the hopes of seeing Taylor, and she knows this. Just a few days earlier, the couple made another public appearance at the Chiefs Chargers game at Arrowhead. In a behind the scenes photo, Swift and Kelsey are seen holding hands, both donning red themed outfits. Swift rocks a vintage 1990 USA Kansas City Chiefs sweatshirt paired with a black miniskirt and platform Mary Janes. Meanwhile, Kelsey sports a red plaid flannel shirt, gray trousers, and blue sneakers. Their coordinated style adds a touch of romance to their public outings. Following the game, a heartwarming moment unfolds as a picture circulates, capturing Swift tenderly kissing Kelsey's cheek. The couple strikes a pose alongside Chiefs teammate McCall Hardman Jr. and his girlfriend Shariah Gordon creating a sweet group photo that captures their camaraderie. Fast forward to a November episode of the New Heights podcast featuring Jason and Travis Kelsey. The elder Kelsey attempts to tease information from his brother about potentially joining Swift during the international leg of her era's tour in South America. Given the Chiefs' coincidental days off, Jason probes, Got anything you're looking forward to going to? Travis responds with a casual tone, Not really. I might just say forget it and go somewhere nice. I don't know. My skin's getting real pale, so I gotta go somewhere sunny. Jason plays along, suggesting, somewhere south? Travis, in a playful manner, hints, closer to the equator. Pushing further, Jason questions, south of the equator? Travis bursts into laughter, leaving the plans up in the air. Swift kicks off the South America leg of her tour on November 9th, with three shows in Buenos Aires, Argentina, followed by two weekend performances in Rio de Janeiro. The ambiguity of Travis Kelsey's travel plans adds an element of intrigue to their budding relationship. Subsequently, on another episode of the New Heights podcast, the Kelsey brothers delve into a peculiar moment when Swift's dad, Scott Swift, was spotted wearing a Kansas City Chiefs lanyard at one of her South American tour shows. This despite Scott being a lifelong Philadelphia Eagles fan. Travis playfully boasts, got him over to the good side, baby, just one by one, getting all the good ones to come on over. Jason, a player for the Eagles, humorously questions Scott's loyalty. What are we doing, Scott? You're gonna let this man's devilish good looks and relationship with your daughter sway you from a lifetime of fandom, Scott? Ridiculous. Travis spills the beans, revealing a persuasive dinner conversation. I might have persuaded him at dinner the night before, when I met him. The banter showcases the good-natured dynamics between Travis Kelsey and Swift's family. By this point, Travis and Taylor have publicly integrated their families, with an Entertainment Tonight source revealing plans for a full family get-together, including all four parents. This gathering is slated for a Monday showdown between the Eagles and the Chiefs. In a turning point, Kelsey opens up about his relationship with Swift in his December-January cover story for WSJ Magazine. He reflects on their initial connection, with people close to Swift playing Cupid after his bold move during her era's tour. Swift eventually reached out, 
And Kelsey humorously recalls a quirky moment at Arrowhead, where her little cousins were snapping pictures in front of his locker. Regarding their initial encounter, Kelsey shares insights, saying, When I met her in New York, we had already kind of been talking, so I knew we could have a nice dinner and, like, a conversation. And what goes from there will go from there. This glimpse into their first meeting suggests a natural progression from their prior conversations. Now that they're fully public, will Swifties get an announcement soon? Let's see! In the interview, Kelsey admits that he has never experienced dating someone with the level of public attention Swift commands. The 12-time Grammy winner's unique aura, coupled with the constant scrutiny, is a new dynamic for him. Despite this, Kelsey embraces the situation, stating, But at the same time, I'm not running away from any of it. The scrutiny she gets, how much she has a magnifying glass on her, every single day, paparazzi outside her house, outside every restaurant she goes to, after every flight she gets off, and she's just living, enjoying life. When she acts like that, I better not be the one acting all strange. Expanding on his admiration for Swift, Kelsey affectionately describes her as hilarious and a genius. The interview also reveals shared values between the couple, particularly in their outlook on family, work, and life. Kelsey, known as a family-oriented individual, finds resonance in Swift's connection to her team as her family. He notes, Everybody knows I'm a family guy. Her team is her family. Her family does a lot of stuff in terms of the tour, the marketing, being around, so I think she has a lot of those values as well, which is right up my alley. In December, as Time's 2023 Person of the Year, Swift finally opened up about their relationship. She clarifies the timeline of their romance, dispelling the notion that attending a Kansas City Chiefs game marked their first date. Swift appreciates Kelsey's podcast revelation, noting, This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. We started hanging out right after that, so we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. Swift addresses the misconception about their first public appearance, emphasizing, by the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. Despite valuing their privacy initially, Swift emphasizes that the couple has no intention of hiding from the public eye. She states, When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves. We're showing up for each other. Other people are there and we don't care. The opposite of that is, you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. 